Hello and welcome to our first grammar lesson. Today we're going to talk about present simple, the first and the most common tense. In English we have 12 tenses. The first one is present simple. Simple is the opposite of complex or complicated. So, let's get started. When do we use it? Every time we want to talk about tense, we must talk about two things. When do we use this tense? And how do, do we use it? So first of all, when do we use the present simple? The present simple is used to describe a permanent situation. Permanent. So this is something that will continue on forever. For example, Tina lives in London. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe now you can say, okay, but Tina can move to another city or country. Yes. But we don't know if this is going to happen in the future or not. Now, currently, Tina lives in London and she doesn't have any intention or any plan to move to another city or country. Tina lives in London. For example, I say he is an engineer. He is an engineer. Okay, but maybe in the future, he will try to find another job. Maybe. But now, he is an engineer. Uh, this can also happen when we talk about gender, for example. I say he is a man. Or, for example, when I talk about preferences, he likes coffee, and so on. To describe repeated habitual actions, so it's a routine or a habit. He wakes up at 7.30 every morning. So this is his habit. To talk about general truths, facts, and these can be something general or something personal. Water boils at 100 Celsius. So this is a general fact. If I want to talk about a personal fact, for example, you can say I support Real Madrid, for example. So this is a personal fact about you. To talk about future actions related to timetables and programs, our plane leaves at 10 tomorrow. Now, we have the word tomorrow here, but we didn't say that the plane will leave. We said the plane leaves because the plane is leaving whether you go or you don't. So this is something that you don't actually control. For example, I say tomorrow is Monday. So I don't say tomorrow will be Monday because it is Monday. Tomorrow is coming and nobody can change tomorrow. So tomorrow is Monday and our plane leaves at 10 tomorrow. Number five, to refer to the plot of a book, or a movie, etc. The wolf lives deep in the forest. Plot here, I'm talking about story, or I'm talking about the uh, tale. So the plot of the book. The wolf lives deep in the forest. So you need to go inside the forest, deep inside the forest, to get to the wolf. Uh, in sport commentaries, Jefferson shoots and he scores. Let's say that you are listening to the radio or there's a football match and there's a commentator and he's describing what he sees. So he uses the present symbol. And finally, in exclamatory sentences with here and there. For example, here comes Uncle Harry and we have the exclamation mark. Ah! Here comes Uncle Harry. Oh, there you are. So in these cases, we use the present simple. So how to use the present simple? So we have the affirmative form, positive. I work, you work, we work, they work. And you can notice here that I'm only using the subject and the verb. Now, 
The only form that is different is the third person singular. He or she or it, where we add s to the verb. So, when I have he, we say works. She works, it works. So, here we added s to the verb. So, look at the subject. If it's I, you, we, they, we use the verb directly. If it's he or she or it, we add s to the verb. Now, we have some exceptions. So here, if I have a constant letter and then the letter Y, it turns into I-E-S. For example, I have the verb carry. I have the letter Y, and before the little Y, I have an R. It's a constant. So I say carries, carries. So I added I-E-S. We can also use this with study. I say studies, so I-E-S. If I have a verb ending in O, I add an E, so it becomes goes, E-S. If I have a verb ending with S-H, sh, so I add E-S also, wash, washes. If I have a verb ending with C-H, ch, Watch, watches, ES also. If I have a verb ending with S or X, it also becomes ES. Pass, passes, box, boxes. Box here, when I use it as a verb, it means to put something into a box. I boxed all the uh, books, so I put them all in a box.